like I was feeling dizzy and sleepy all of a sudden. I didn't pass out right away. My vision started to get blurry. And then one of the doors in the room opened. My name is Brenda, and this story happened in October of 2018. Me and my best friend Taylor, and our other two friends, Joe and Liam, were driving around town bored, looking for something to do. We were a little drunk, and we had attended a house party earlier that night. We eventually drove past an attraction. It was a Halloween-themed carnival with small rides, carnival games, and some stands and other activities. We each agreed that it looked fun. So Liam parked and we headed inside. Liam and Joe wanted to grab some food somewhere. So me and Taylor said we would join them later as we wanted to have a look around. We didn't get to look very long, however, as we were stopped by this tall man who I assume was an employee of the carnival. He was balding, had stained yellow teeth, and was wearing an orange polo t-shirt. He had a name tag on, and the name read Greg. He asked me and Taylor if we were interested in doing an escape room. We agreed as it sounded fun. Me and Taylor were giggling as we were following Greg to the escape room. I can't remember too much, but I remember me and Taylor walking into a dingy dark room and Greg saying, good luck, as he closed the door behind us and he locked it. Me and Taylor were stumbling around the room, laughing and trying to figure out how we needed to escape. I remember wandering off into a corner of the room, thinking I saw something, when I heard a sort of scuffling behind me. I turned around and I could just about see across the room. Some man had grabbed Taylor and was holding his hand over her mouth, dragging her through a door that we didn't even notice. As I ran over to her to get closer, I could see it was Greg the employee. He looked at me, paused for a moment, and let Taylor go, then started to laugh saying that we failed. Taylor started to laugh as well. I didn't find it funny, however. From what I saw, it looked too real and aggressive to be staged. I was staring at Greg, and he was looking back at me like he was nervous about something. He then said, Okay, well, better luck next time, before he sort of escorted us out of the room. I watched Greg then speed walk into a parking lot and got in a car and drove off. I started to sober up after this experience and I didn't find things funny anymore. Taylor asked if I was okay. I asked if she thought it was weird about that man grabbing her the way he did. I think Taylor was too drunk to realize what was actually going on because she told me it was just part of the game. I looked around at the staff nearby who were working on food stands and carnival games. Every single one of them were wearing a black t-shirt with carnival names on the front. None of them had on an orange polo or name tags. I asked a member of the staff if anyone working there was wearing an orange polo shirt named Greg. They said no, the uniform is what you see, which was the black t-shirt. They also told me no person named Greg that they knew worked there at the carnival. I told them about what had happened in the escape room and how a man had grabbed my friend. The staff member looked at me with concern on her face and told me to wait as she went and got her manager. I spoke with the manager explaining the same thing of what happened. And the manager said the escape room was off limits. It's closed for maintenance. After hearing this, Taylor didn't think it was part of the game anymore. We eventually met up with Liam and Joe and told them what had happened. They were just as concerned as the rest of us. We all agreed that it was time to go. To think a man who was dressed up as a staff member and planned on kidnapping a girl is frightening. It's scary to think that if I hadn't heard a noise and saw him grabbing Taylor, this story could have ended up a lot worse. (laughs) 
my name is Billy and back in 2017, I was struggling to find work. I took pretty much any job I could find. I remember a website I used to post my interest in work on and I would receive emails offering me different jobs. I got one email which was very unusual. It was to be tied up in chains and sit in a dark room. At first I thought this couldn't be serious but after contacting the person who sent the email, they explained that they needed someone to be tied up in the escape room. It wasn't what I would normally do but I needed money and the job sounded pretty straightforward. I got in contact with a man named Scott. I called him on the phone and he told me about the job. He asked if I knew anything about escape rooms and did I know what they were. And at that time I really didn't know. I had heard about them but I never saw anything or experienced escape room myself. He explained it was part of a game for me to be in the room chained up and people would have to figure out the puzzle to unlock me. I thought it was easy enough and accepted the job. Scott asked me if I was available the following weekend. I told him I was. And he gave me time and address to where to meet him. That following Saturday night, I drove to a parking lot near a sports center to meet up with Scott. Scott was a bald man in his 30s with a goatee and was wearing mostly black clothes. I got in Scott's car and he drove me to the location of the escape room. I tried to make small talk with Scott and I asked about the escape room but it was clear he wasn't much of a talker. I couldn't remember much if any surroundings because it was too dark. We arrived at the location of the escape room and Scott showed me the back room of the building. It was an old and rundown building. I asked how come the building looked like it did. He paused for a moment and looked around the room before saying it was just the look of it. Scott offered me a drink. I told him I wasn't thirsty but he was very persistent. He told me it gets very hot in that room and eventually I said yes. Scott then went into another room to get a drink for me. I was expecting him to bring back a bottle of water or something, but he brought back a paper cup. I asked him what it was and he said it's just water. I drank a small cup of water and then Scott asked me if I was ready. I told him yes. Scott brought me into another room and set me down on a chair and tied me up. He tied me up tighter than I expected with padlocks and metal chains. He said don't worry, he's just monitoring the room just in case anything happens. Before closing the door behind him and leaving me in a dark room chained up. It wasn't long before I started to feel funny. Like I was feeling dizzy and sleepy all of a sudden. I didn't pass out right away. My vision started to get blurry. And then one of the doors in the room opened and about three or four men walked in with masks and started to approach me. And that's when I passed out. I woke up to the police officer shaking me and asked me if I was okay. I looked around and I was in the middle of a field. I wasn't tied up anymore but my clothes were stretched and damaged. I asked the police officer what was going on. He told me that I was being kidnapped and I had been drugged and the men in the building were in the middle of dragging me toward a car. I later found out more details that a security guard who monitored the buildings he saw a group of men with masks inside the building carrying weapons. Honestly, I think I'm the luckiest person in the world that that security guard was there and he called for help, as I probably wouldn't be alive to tell this story today. My name is Nicole and this incident happened in 2019. One night I was on Facebook killing some time. As I was waiting for my friends to pick me up, we were planning on going to an escape room that night. I posted a picture of the escape room we were going to with some words about me looking forward to it. I looked down at my phone and I saw a text from one of my friends saying that they were on their way. When I looked back at my Facebook, I noticed someone had liked my post and messaged me. It was someone named Derek. I didn't know anyone named Derek. He was telling me how he liked escape rooms as well. And he asked if he could come along. I replied asking who this guy was. Derek ignored my question and responded saying he's really good at escape rooms and we should let him join us. I clicked on his account which had little to no information and no profile picture before I blocked him. 
there was a knock at my front door. I assumed it was my friends picking me up. When I opened the front door, there was no one there at my doorstep and were no cars around. I thought I was just hearing things and went back inside. I heard a knock again about 45 minutes later. This time it was one of my friends. I got in the car and we headed to the escape room. Me and my friends were having a great time in the escape room. It was really creepy, honestly. That all changed, however, when we got to the room with a TV and a DVD player. There were discs laying around the room, and we had to watch the discs on the DVD player because there would be clues on how to figure out a puzzle that we were doing. My friends spread out around the room looking for the disc. One of my friends, Sally, said there's a disc with my name on it. I laughed thinking it was a massive coincidence that it didn't mean anything significant with me. When we played the disc, I was mortified with what I saw. It was footage of my house. Someone was recording from a, a close distance. Then you could see me open the door and look around, shortly before turning around and heading back inside. At first I thought it was my friends playing a joke on me, but after asking them, they all said they had nothing to do with it. They weren't the type of friends to play pranks anyway. I eventually put the pieces together and realized it was probably their guy Derek who messaged me. I didn't feel like doing the escape room anymore, so my friends dropped me off at home. My friends said not to worry about it. There's probably just some weirdo trying to get attention. That night I logged into my Facebook and I saw I had a message. I was hesitant to open it. A part of me knew it was going to be that guy. Someone named Derek this time, with two R's, said, Did you enjoy the escape room? I felt sick and was about to reply asking him why he was doing this to me. But I couldn't because the account blocked me. I discussed this incident with my friends and family, and we think it was someone who worked at the escape room, who was playing a very cruel and creepy prank. I didn't find any humor in this. The fact that someone messaged me, knew where I lived, and wanted me to find a film of them spying on me makes me sick. It also frightens me that I still don't know who or why this person did what they did. Thank you.